Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio here today with a little video um, for MCY, my creative year, on Facebook. I went a little wackadoo. <laughs> um, oof. Jerry's Artorama had a sale. Was it Art Jerry's I ordered this from? Yes, Jerry's Artorama had a sale online with Daniel Smith paints, and some of them were 40% off. And um, Gina, Aaron, got me addicted to Daniel Smith paint. And there goes the phone. Daniel Smith um, paint, and so I decided that I must have some. Because, you know, you just got to have it. And I've been waiting and waiting, and finally I decided to go ahead. So the mail lady came. I thought it was something I'd order from Amazon, but this is what I got. I've got three of the five 15 milliliters, what, four? And then I have four of the five... I'm sitting here in the dark, 5, 0.5 milliliters or 5 milliliters. So you can see they're, dis they're distinctly different in the sizes. This is three times the size this is. But that's okay because I just wanted to try them out. And these bigger ones, I know that I would use a lot of. The smaller ones, I'm not really sure, but that's okay because along with the paint, I also got the sheet. <laughs> so this is the extra fine uh, watercolor. 66 colors to try and then they give you instructions on how to use them and I am very excited about using them. I can't but look at these colors. <gasps> Ooh, I'm not into shimmery colors but those sure do look nice on the card. I was going to order the one that had all the colors but I went to order it and they were out of stock. So I got the 66 and I figured eh, might as well start slow. This is good enough for now. Oh I see one I like already. Wisteria. Ooh, and lavender. Oh my, this is going to be lots of fun. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so when I was gifted lots of other kinds of watercolors, I swatched them on, I cut up some watercolor paper, and I swatched them and I put the names of them. There's, uh, let's see, Van Gogh, Windsor Newton, Cotman, Koi Traveler Set. The Koi Tubes, which are not the same as in the Traveler set. Grumbacher Academy, Mission Gold, and now I have <gasps> Daniel Smith. I'm so excited. All right, so I'm going to take it off of here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this up. I know, don't have a stroke. I can't believe I'm saying I'm going to cut this thing up. But the thing is is that each section, if you can see this, that goes across here, is a different kind of paint. This is the primary colors. The next section says Crinacridone and more. That's all these. And then this one says the luminescent color. So I'm going to cut down here and here. All right. The most important part, I think, of the whole thing is the very bottom. This was where the luminescent is. There are codes under each one of these um, blobs, samples. And it says I is excellent. Oh, that's a one. One is excellent. Two is very good. Three is fair. Four is fugitive. And are not rated by ASTM. Ratings based on DS, which is Daniel Smith Independent Testing. Next one is non-staining, staining. One is non-staining. Two is low staining. Three is medium staining. Four is high staining. Then you have the granulation, yes or no. And yes is varying degrees. Transparency is a clear circle. Semi-transparent is half black, half white. And opaque is all, the circle is blacked out. And so there you go. Okay, so I think I, I was going to start with the translucent one, but that's not the one I am most interested in. It is this one, the one that says the primary colors. Let me spritz this thing with water before I do something crazy. Oh, some of them are already starting to go. Look at that. The jadeite. All right, so let's try this and see what we got here. We got Amethyst Genuine. Ooh. 
Oh, lovely. Lovely. This is Solite. Solidite. Solite. Genuine. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that correctly. Wow. Look at that one. It said it is, where is the legend on the bottom of the paper? It says it is semi-transparent. I guess you put enough water in there, it will be. This one is black. Torlaline green. Gen, uh, genuine. I guess that's what G-E-N stands for. It's kind of a, yeah, it's hard to tell, huh? There's Bloodstone Genuine. I always thought Bloodstone was a green. Blue Appetite Gen Genuine. Oh, that's a lovely shade of blue. Graf uh, Bronzite Genuine. I'm not pronouncing these names properly, and if you know better, I, I bless your heart for being able to pronounce this stuff, but I can't. <coughs> Burnt Tiger's Eye, I can get that one. This one is like very transparent. And it says it on the thing that it is, so it's got the little... Oh, it's wrong one. This is Diopside Genuine. Woo! That's a green. Then we have Fuchsite Genuine, Genuine Fuchsite, Fuchsite, which is very transparent because it has the clear dot underneath it. Oh yeah, it is very transparent. Then we have Garnet Genuine. And I think this one's going to be opaque. And it says it is transparent. Very good. I got it all wrong. <laughs> Genuine Appetite Green. Oh, I like that one. You know I'm a green nut. That's Hematite Genuine. In this room, in the dark, it's hard to tell, but it almost looks like a Payne's Gray. I mean, it has, I don't think there's blue or purple. I mean, it's kind of a charcoal -y color. All right, then we have the Hematite Violet Genuine. Which is semi-opaque. All right, let me dry this so I can flip it over to the other side. Okay, let's see what we got next. We've got... Is this is... Canite Genuine. Oh, that looks like a blue-gray. Lapis. Is it Lazul? Lazuli? Genuine, totally transparent. I mean, really transparent. Okay. Then Mayan blue, genuine. I think this one is, it says it's up. Oh, oh, yeah, it is. Look at that. Looks lovely. And then we have, I think this is supposed to be Minnesota Pipestone. I'm not sure. That's a nice color. Then we have, let's see what this one, Pinatite. Pinatite. Ooh, I like that color too. Oh my, whoops, wrong one. Shh, let's not do that. Shoot. <laughs> and this one is semi-opaque. Red Fusite Genuine. Totally opaque. This is Serpentine Genuine. Ooh. Oh, it's a lovely green. Semi-opaque. 
I think this is pronounced cyclotite. Cyclotite. Genuine. Um, this looks like a brown. This one is suglite. 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 That is a gray. Oh, it looks kind of like a purple, lavender sort of gray. It's opaque. Last one. Oh, Lord, these names are killing me. Z-O-I-S-I-T-E. Genuine. I'm going to massacre that name, so I'm not even going to try it. There you go. Oh! <laughs> okay, we really don't want my fingerprint in there, do we? Okay, so that's the first card for the, um, these are called primary, oh, sorry, these are Primatech colors. Not primary, Primatech. <sighs> I need to learn to read better. Some of them have shimmer. Some of them are, uh, look flat. Like this one has shimmer, which is number one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's the bronzite genuine, has a shimmer. And then, let's see what's the next one. One, two, three. The third one is the jadeite genuine, has a shimmer to it. Those are the two I can actually see. Let's see with anything on the, oh. Okay, there's a couple on this side. The last one we did, the Z-O-I-S-I-T-E Genuine has a shimmer. And it's not just because it's still wet. The one above it, I think, is the Minnesota... Nope. I. Th Let's see. Uh, that's this one. Two, three, four. This one, the, um, it's the red Fuchsite. Genuine has a shimmer to it. The first one has a shimmer to it. Of the second row, the, the Hematite Violet Genuine has a little bit of shimmer. I'm not a shimmer paint fan. Not my thing. They are lovely, but it's just not my thing. All right, so that's this card. And the next one are the... Uh, let's see what are these guys called. These guys are quinacridones and more, it says. Is this one card? Yeah. All right, so let's oh, wait. Let me spray. Kind of hard to spray flat. Oh, some of them are already starting to spread. Okay. All right, let's do quinacridone burnt orange. Oh my, what a lovely orange that is. Cronacridone Burnt Scarlet. Cronacridone Deep Gold. And Cronacridone Coral. Ooh, that's a very fuchsia looking pinky. Cronacridone fuchsia. Well, see, I just said that. I thought the other ones. Oh, wow. Look at that. That really is fuchsia. It says it's transparent, so maybe I got a little heavy handed. This one, Cronacridone gold. Oh, look at that color. Wow, that's gorgeous. Cronacridone magenta. Cronacridone pink. Holy mackerel, look at them. They all look different. And these two look sort of the same to me, but... All right, we're in Quinacridone Rose. And there you go. There's another one that looks this... I don't know. All right, so we have Quinacridone Sienna. Quinacridone Violet. Oh, my. Look at that one. Then we have, oh, let me dry. That way I can do first two rows on the front, second two okay, rows so on the Okay, so now we're going to do the bottom two. This is Cronacridone Purple. Yes! Cronacridone Lilac. Most of these are either translucent or semi-translucent. 
cascade green. <gasps> oh, yes. <laughs> I'm not biased. Anyway, imperial purple. <gasps> Gorgeous. Westeria. I think that is one of the ones. Oh, it's hibiscus. What's this one? Imperial purple. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, Westeria. <gasps> Love it. Burnt Sienna Light, which is more orange brown or brownish orange, or I don't know which color comes first anyway. Lavender. Oh my gosh, look at that. <sighs> Gorgeous. Aussie Red Gold. Okay, that looks to me kind of like a neon orange. Payne's Blue Gray. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Raw Sienna Light. Whoops. This says semi, but I don't know. That looks pretty transparent to me. All right. And then Rose Matter Permanent or Mater Permanent. Totally transparent. And then we have Lunar Black. There you go. There's the second section of the 66 colors. Kind of like pinks and roses and yellows on this one, and this is like miscellaneous. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna set that aside to dry. All right, so let's get the third one on here. Now, these I won't be as crazy about. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not into shiny things like this, but. Okay, guys, um, <laughs> I filmed swatching these two the other day and was editing, editing the film this morning, and I got all the names wrong, and I think I need to re-swatch these. So that's what I'm going to do right now is to re-swatch the luminescent colors. I don't want to screw that name up. <laughs> Because I did a bang-up job the other day of screwing stuff up. All right, so my water is not clean. So let me pause and go get clean water. As you can see, <laughs> I have clean water in two jars now. Wow, I should last three months with that. No, not really. I'm just kidding. Okay, so the first one on this card is called Iridescent Gold. And I'm going to tell you right now, I am not crazy about shiny paint. I never have been. And I don't know if this is really going to change my mind or not. So there's iridescent gold. And yes, it is very translucent. Uh, let me take you down. So, you know, it takes a couple seconds. It'll be blurry. It takes a couple seconds for the camera to adjust. Right, so there's that one. Ooh, where's my paper towel? And it has seen better days. <laughs> Here is Iridescent Jade. <laughs> I, I have to laugh because the other day I got so tickled doing this part because I could actually not even see the stinking colors on the card. Can you see that? Yeah, me neither. Okay. <laughs> Dead gum phone. All right, so Iridescent Sandstone. And no, I did not spray them off. Didn't do any good the other day, so I figured, yeah, poo. Iridescent sandstone. Okay. I do not see anything. <laughs> no, I'm going to laugh again. I can tell this. Is... Okay. <laughs> I was trying to avoid getting tickled again today, but here is interference blue. This is like the emperor in his new clothes. I can't see a daggum thing. All right, this is interference copper. Uh, okay, we are going to keep trying that. All right, so <laughs> let's. All righty, here's another one. <laughs> Can y'all see any of this? Well, I got the same answer. Interference green. Now this one cracks me up. Dee, 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 
<laughs> okay. All right, let's do the duo. I think it's Sagraro Sagraro Green. Stuff actually looks better on the card than it does here swatching it. Oh my gosh, there's a little color. Wait, let me put a little more on there. This one actually has color. <gasps> Look at that. Okay, there's sort of color on that one. There you go. This one's called Duo Cactus Flower. Uh, okay, that has a lot less than this one, but I can still see this one better than I can these three in the middle. And this one's called Duochrome Hibiscus. And this is the one where I had two tubes of it and I ended up sending them to somebody else who said she liked them. I didn't. It's a very light, twinkly, sparkly, shiny, <laughs> pink color. Take my word for it. It's kind of pink. Oh, can you see them this way? What cracks me up is the ones that say blue, copper, and green. I see absolutely nothing. Can you see that? I see a little shimmer, but you have to turn the card the right direction. And I'm not for working that hard to see color on a card. <laughs> Okie do. Let's um, just flip over to the other side for the other half of the one that I split in two. And this is Iridescent Ruby. They did better on the card than they do actually on the watercolor paper. Oh, well, there's color on this one. Look at that. That one has low color. Awesome. All right, this one's called Iridescent Electric Blue. Oh, can only imagine. Oh! <gasps> Hot diggity. It's got some color. Can y'all see that? Pink and blue. Well, ruby. This one's called Iridescent Sapphire. Man, when you have to work that hard to get water onto something so you can see it, that's just not worth it to me. What you're seeing the shiny on the last one is water. The others... I don't know. I can't tell, and if I have to look that hard, I am not doing this. Um, interference Lilac. Now, when you think of Lilac, you think of a purplish color, right? Or a lavender. And um, there's the Emperor's new clothes. <laughs> interference Red. I'm not sure what Interference is. I, I just... Oh, my goodness. I... Okay. <laughs> Duochrome Emerald. Why is my paintbrush not giving color on here, but it puts color on the card? It has color on the card. All right, and this one's called Duochrome Cabo Blue. This one, the other day when I did it, has a really pretty color of blue. Yeah, it's, it's a sparkly, lovely color of blue. I'm assuming that's based on Cabo St. Lucas's water. And this one's called... Pearlescent Shimmer, which is, uh, it looks silver on the card. Okay, where did I leave off? Uh, I guess here. <laughs> I don't know. I may put it on another color. <laughs> no. All right, Pearlescent White. Okay, you're not going to see this one either. All righty then. Let's give it a shot. Okay, there we go. We've made our Honest, honest Abe try. And, uh, Look, the cards have more color than what I got on the watercolor paper. See those two right there? Non-existent. That is the Interference Lilac and the Interference Red. I must be missing the point of these paints. I don't know. I, I just, I, I don't know. Okay! <laughs> there we go. There's side one. These guys. Sorry for the shadow of my glasses. There's that one. And then side two is this one, and they're both a little damp. All right, so that is the um, ear, uh, the luminescent colors off of that 66 color card from 
Daniel Smith. I will not be buying any of these because this is not my style of painting. This is not what I prefer or that I'm crazy about. I'm not a shimmer paint sort of person. I've given a lot of the shimmer stuff away to my friends who are crazy about it because I'm not. Uh, can you see any shimmer in these? I don't see a lot here. I see nothing on these two. That's just crazy. Okay, there you go. There's everything you need to know about, <laughs> about the luminescent colors. <laughs> On to the next thing. Okay, so I know I'm going to keep the Imperial Purple. How can I not? It's a fabulous color. I have to keep this. <gasps> oh, it's so beautiful. All right, there's the Imperial Purple. And... She's a keeper. Oh, and she's oozing. Okay, so I'm gonna have to put that in a half pan and get that done. I'm not going to do the hibis uh, the hibiscus because if I send these back, I don't want to open them. This one is the isoindoline. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but that'll do for now. Just want to take a little bit off of there and whoa, that's bright. Whoa! That's that one. I'm going to squeeze these into half pans later. And I know I'm going to love the sap green. Because I'm a, oh, it's already squeezing out. So, well, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to have to put that in a pan soon. I thought I would. This is sap green, which I really love. And let me, let me get a pan. Ooh. Okay, so this one is ultramarine turquoise, and it's going to squeeze out too. So I will leave these out on top of the samples for the ones that are in the half pans. And what I do is I lay the card somewhere where the cat can't walk in it. This one is my sap green. And I don't have these in pans yet, so I'll do those in a second. And so this is the ultramarine turquoise. Hot diggity look at that baby. Oh, <gasps> fabulous. Just fabulous. Okay, so that'll go there. And I put the tubes with them too, so I don't forget. I get dumb. Oh, that see senior moment stuff is true, true, true. Let's see, and then I'm going to do um, these last two. I might as well get two cans out. Unos dos. I don't know what this is called. Some kind of green. <laughs> Paleo or I don't know. Fill us some. I, I, don't, I don't know. It's number. Oh, there's no number on it. Wait. Is there a number on this one? Pigment number PG36. This is Paleo Green. Yellow shade. Okay, I'll take your word for it. And then this one is the uh, cobalt teal blue, and it's a squoozer too. So let's squeeze you and get you started. I think because I paint so slow and I don't always do it every day, I should get the smaller tubes. All right, let's try you. Whoa, that's a, um, whoa. Look at that. Wow. Maybe I should use a little more water on this. Yeehaw. Whoop. That's a lot of color. And I think I should have used a different brush. All right, so those are all those. That is this, this. I'm going to leave these out here to dry on the boards for a little while. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to send these two back and see if they can't credit me, and then I will find something else. These were, oh, I don't know how much these were. They were $10 or $11 a piece, and I think that was 40% off. 
so I didn't mean to get two, look at this, I didn't mean to get two of the same color. But now that I've swatched this one, I had liked it in the past, but now I can see it better. And I think I don't need this one. I like colors that don't have the shimmer, and this has shimmer to it, and I really don't like the shimmers. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack these up and send these back in a cute little box and see if I can't get uh, swapped or credit or something. Okay, so that's it for my silly swatching <laughs> for today. If I get any more paints, I will be back with my amateur um, quarterbacking on the swatching and the colors and what I like and don't like. I hope you guys, when you get your paints, you do the same thing, that you test them and see what you like and don't like. These right here, most of these for these two would be fine. I like these. It's just the last one where I can't see the stinking colors. Why do I want to pay for something when all I see is glitter and I see no color? Not for me. So I'm glad I know that. Now that I can, I can rule these out, that'll save me a house payment. Okie do! If you guys are going to buy paints, buy them on sale and buy that swatch card because that really is very helpful for you to know what you like and don't like. I like most of these. I like most of these. I like these. I like these. Yeah, these are okay. That last one, not so much. All right, guys. See you later. Thanks for watching. Please check out my Creative Year Facebook group. Bye-bye.